Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Intermediate 56. Communication skills. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, this is Alexander. Yes, from Go East Travel. Hi, how can I help you? In business and in everyday life, we constantly ask for and receive advice. In this lesson, we're going to practice the language of advice. We're going to learn how to ask for advice using should. What should I wear? And some different ways of giving advice. You should wear appropriate business clothes. Don't take a business card with just one hand. Ah, Mr. Patterson. Ah, yes, good to hear from you. Yes, I have actually sold you a holiday already, haven't I? Yes. <laughs> you would like some advice on your trip to China. Okay, um, what can I tell you? Um, um... We're now going to watch a movie about a manager consulting with a cultural expert. The manager is planning to go to China. Um, the meeting today is very important for the future of our company. Is there anything else I should know before I leave? I briefed you on some of the details last week, but we need to discuss cultural differences, such as style of negotiation and even manners. Good. Um, what should I do when we uh, first meet? Shake hands and exchange name cards, right? Well, be careful. Uh, in China, it's considered rude to accept a business card with just one hand. You should always give and receive it with both hands and bow slightly. You should also read the information on the card before you put it away. Yes, I think I've heard of that. Now, where should we hold a meeting? Should we pull out all the stops and hold it on the top floor of the Jing Mao Tower? No, that would be considered a waste of public expense. Better to hold it at a private lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who should I direct my speech to? Speak to first. The team that meets you will be introduced from junior to senior official. So you should always talk to the last person introduced, as he or she will be the most senior. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Well, this is useful information. What else? Well, don't take a nod as a sign of agreement. It's usually just a sign that people are listening attentively. Okay. I want you to look after the bookings and schedule. We need this to go very smoothly. I'm sure there's something else here I can find for you. Ah, here we go. Yes, cultural etiquette. Understanding cultural differences is very important. Let's listen to part of the movie again. What should I do when we uh, first meet? What should I do when we first meet? We often use should when we ask for advice. Who should I direct my speech to? There are many other ways of asking for advice. We can say, what do you recommend? Do you have any suggestions? Here's how the expert responds. Well, be careful. Uh, in China, it's considered rude to accept a business card with just one hand. Well, be careful. When giving advice, we often use the imperative to give an order or a command. Here's some more examples using the imperative. Be cautious. Be aware of differences. Pay attention. You might get into trouble. Here's another way of giving advice. You should always give and receive it with both hands and bow slightly. You should give and receive it with both hands. OK, um, a few things to remember. When you are meeting other business people um, while you're in China, do remember to use both hands when you're giving your business card over. Yes, yes. Not one hand. No, no, no. Both hands. And when you receive cards as well. You should read the information. We use should, ought to, had better for suggestions or recommendations. You'd better wear smart clothes. You ought to learn company procedures. 
and here's some more advice. Well, don't take a nod as a sign of agreement. Don't take a nod as a sign of agreement. We use do and don't for actions that are recommended or advised against. Do go to your meeting prepared. Now, let me. I can tell you a story actually about something that happened to me. Yes, I was. Uh, I was in China and uh, was in the taxi and uh, going from the airport to the office. And um, it should have been about a 30-minute ride, I believe. Yes. Now it's your turn. Can you fill in the gap? That's right. What clothes should I take? Here's another sentence asking for advice. What goes in the gap? Who should I direct my speech to? And can you think of an imperative which would fit here? That's it. Be careful. In China, it is rude to take a business card with one hand. And here's some advice. What goes in the gap? That's right. Don't take a nod as a sign of agreement. Yes, well, after two hours, I was getting a bit worried. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, I did realise from that point that um, if somebody nods their head at you, it doesn't necessarily mean they know what you're saying. Yes, no, not everybody does speak English. Yes, that is a problem. Yes. Well, we've learnt about improving our communication skills today. We've learnt how to ask advice using should. Who should I speak to? We've also learnt how to give advice using should. You should wear smart clothes. And we've learnt some other ways of giving advice. For example, using imperatives. Be careful. Use both hands to take a business card. And using do and don't. Don't take a nod as a sign of agreement. OK, I'm glad that was useful. Yes, because we are a public service as well. Yes, we're not just a travel agent. OK. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. That's all for today. Bye.